Welcome back to Coastal Compass, allegedly a podcast. Tonight we have Abby Parrish with hey. Back in Motion in, from Daphne, Alabama. And we're going to get into all kinds of chiropractic and help that we need. Well, they need it more than I do. <laughs> right after this. Did any of y'all go do live at five this week? No, but I, only because I didn't know not. Marshall Tucker Band was going to be there. Well, it was too expensive. I heard How it was one hundred and fifty bucks a ticket. It was, no, uh, it was it was, wow. more, it, was it was it was expensive. You got to get the tickets before. No, no, no. We looked and it was too expensive. How much was it? I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> right. It counted. Doesn't do. I, 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 uh, well, it's really not like too expensive concert. for me. If it was me, I'd already spend the thirty five hundred dollars to go see Taylor Swift. Yeah, but I'd love to hear that. That's awful. <laughs> no, I'd that is love not to. awful. What do you mean that's not awful? It's like no, seeing the thirty five hundred dollars, thirty five hundred dollars. It's like seeing Worth the Beatles it. or For Elvis. Real. You know, I got to see. Uh, I got is to it? see Michael Jackson. It is. I got to see Michael Jackson on How his alleged. How much did you pay? Back then, a yeah. lot of money, <laughs> it, and I was a I was a teenager. He paid a stick of gum <laughs> and <laughs> Tic Tac. It that. was it was sixty. Five dollars is what Ooh. I paid. Wow! And now money. we're talking about thirty five dollars. And I was a teenager. I would do it. I do. Would it you? I would. Oh, You're yeah, a Swifty? No, no. Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. It's it's this is th- this is a defining, and I hate to use the word, era. Yeah. In our lifetime, for Taylor Swift. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's not, not just her. It's how'd you Beyonce like that play? How'd you like I that did, play? You did a great yeah. job. It's Beyonce too. Yeah, Beyonce is pretty cool. I'm not going to pay for either one of them. I did pay to go see Doctor John. Okay, that's good. I Dr. Mean, John, hey, for everyone that's uh, below the age of 80, that. please <laughs> tap that? that into the Google machine. <laughs> Dr. This John. old fart that, over here. That Just fancy Dr. Thing John you have in your pocket. From Mobile. He could have seen for free probably at a bar oh back in the God. day. It it probably, did you see Wet Willie with him too? Yeah, Wet <laughs> Willie. Another Google. House of Blues in New Orleans okay. is where I saw him. Oh, right. that, no, that's a good venue uh, though. Just hardcore funk New Orleans. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, they're, cool. They're, Dr. John got down. 70s yeah, and 80s. Oh, yeah. It was, right. It's great. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you've ever, have you ever seen the Tip Tops that are from Mobile? No, I've not. Tip Tops are incredible. I'm pretty sure now they probably do some doctor. They're going to be live at 5 they are. in June. And okay. I recommend going to that. Okay. Now, All right. The, the Red Clay Strays, yes. those tickets got up to like 500 bucks. Mm-hmm. Well, you they're know cool. they're opening up for the Stones this week. Oh, I can believe it. In Over Boston. In, in Boston. Wow, that's in great. Boston. That's yeah. great for them. So they're doing fantastic. They're awesome. Uh, Andy follows me on Instagram. He occasionally will like like one of my stories. I feel oh, very special. Nice. There you oh, go. Yeah, yeah, there I like that. Yeah. That's nice. And just so y'all know, we're not actually the music experts, and I'll let you get back to what you were about to say, yeah, yeah, okay. but we are going to have someone that is a music expert on very soon. Um, uh, Every time we yet. try to get a music yet. person on, they can't. No, no, no. He that's actually true. had to go out on tour. That's All why right. he's like, so yeah. <laughs> trust me, he's okay. he's awesome. He's okay. been in the business for a long time. All right, so Marshall Tucker, they get started. It's probably about, you know, about 7 o'clock, kind of dusky, mm-hmm. gets dark, and the termite swarm hit. Yep. Oh, Termites wow. have been bad Peace this out. year. Peace out, Boy Scout. It was thick Mm-mm. on the stage. Can't do it. The lights, you know, all the street lights were covered. The guys were... You know they ate so many bugs. Oh, yeah, they yeah. did. You could see <laughs> oh, the, they did. The guy that They're did the, the flute and the saxophone, he was constantly <laughs> spitting bugs out of his oh, mouth. Oh, it dude. was rough for yeah, those guys. I'd but have call, I'd have to they, call it on they, you know, sucked it up, <laughs> sucked them down. Literally. 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 They killed Extra it. But, all right, Abby. Hey. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. So, where are you from originally? So I'm adopted from China. Okay. Grew up in uh, West Tennessee, uh, in between Nashville and Memphis. Wow. Nice. Jackson. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is yeah. Jackson right? Or near Jackson? So I'm so I'm technically from Three Way, but nobody knows where yeah, that no, is. Yeah, so no, no, you know, no. you say Jackson because that's like the big city in between <laughs> Memphis and Nashville. You know. How'd you get down here? So I so I'm one of six siblings as well, and my my two oldest siblings are like. 12, 13 years older than I am. Okay. And so Emily is the sister directly above me, and she's a, a CPA in town and had been in her career for some time and moved to Mobile for work. I was in grad school, and um, she invited me. She's like, come come see Lower Alabama. And I was like, Lower Alabama? And she's like, no, yeah, come on, come on down. And I went during the Arts and Crafts Fair and drank all the Kool-Aid. 
oh, yeah. and found a job as quickly as I could. Moved down here in 2019. That's how I ended up down here. Good for you. Okay. So mm-hmm. where'd you start at? What? Like, uh, <coughs> like school or? No, 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 no. Your job here. What where, were you at? Back in motion. No, then. so I bought out back in motion. So I worked for another local office that has a, a location in Mobile and in Fairhope, and I mm-hmm. worked for them um, as an associate from 19 to summer of 22. I then left town for about a year um, and moved to Starkville, Mississippi, to work with a clinic that had a staff of like 14 or 15 people, which is, I mean, that's a big office yeah, um, for my industry, especially. I would think that's all Star the, Vegas. Yeah, I would think that's all the chiropractors in Starkville, right? I mean, she was like <laughs> the one for sure. Right, yeah. um, and I mean, her office, I mean, it's from like a, a business standpoint, you know, she was young family stage. I mean, that was pretty impressive, very incredible. Um, also recognized that I did not like Starkville in that time and had found home. Only a few people like Starkville. Well, no, there's some cool parts of it, but really? there's some, yeah, yeah there are, there. <laughs> there's a surprising the, the, amount the of- old downtown is great. Yes, yes. Now, the rest of the ghetto area is not fun. <laughs> Well, this this is not now I'm gonna have to cut that. Dad, yeah, yeah, you can, Why? Yeah. You can say ghetto. Elvis you sang can, about the not, ghetto. We're not here. <clears throat> yeah, we're not gonna like. You know. When we go nationwide, yeah, and bad. I will still say that Starkville has a ghetto. I, I've. It has a, a surprising amount of food variety yes. for a college town. That was really fun because okay. I like to explore the world through food. Yes. Um, but very, I mean, pretty quickly recognized that I had found home here on the Eastern shore. So I quit my job, put in my resignation in December of 22 and moved back into town in January of 23 and didn't have a job lined up. I was just like, I was cold calling offices and back in motion that I thought was a franchise. Um, I contacted them first cause I knew mm-hmm. I didn't want to work for a franchise. So I figured I would just kind of like Get hash out, out my pitch. Yeah. And I was thinking of a different office that is a franchise and when I called, the previous owner's wife answered the phone, said, my husband's looking to retire. When can you get down here? And I was down. And we started business negotiations two weeks later, closed on the office March 21st of 2023. And Dr. Ken, awesome. he, he was a staple here for a while. Yes. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. yeah. What's was. his name? Dr. Ken. Okay. Um, where'd you do college? So I went to college um, at Bethel University, yeah. which is in a teeny tiny town mm-hmm. in McKenzie, Tennessee. Yep. Like you sneeze too hard and like you've blown through the town yes. kind of thing. Um, did that for a couple years. Um, and then I qualified at the time Logan University, which is where I got my doctorate. They had what's called a three for three program. It's kind of like pharmacy school where you can finish your last year of undergrad while completing your first year of your, your right, right, right. doctorate degree or whatever. And so I, I applied for that and qualified. Awesome. Um, yeah. So okay. this. So you're down here. Mm-hmm. Um, love it down here. Uh, yes. Is absolutely. your sister still here? Yes. Yes, she is. Live on this side of the bay? <coughs> yes. All right. Where do you like to go eat? What do you like to do? Oh, all the things. Um, where do we start? So I, so Sunset Point is a favorite of mine. Okay. Uh, um, like their burger. And they have my favorite dessert in town. I think it's like a key lime compote of some kind. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It's delicious. I heard about that. It's delicious. If you order it to go... <laughs> You know, this is a terrible analogy. You know those tubs that they put beta fish in? Yeah. Like, you get, like, a massive... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. Yep. Like, yeah, you get, like, a heaping of that dessert. And over the summer, it's like, I'll get that as, like, a dessert or dinner if I'm feeling, like, like just, you know, I don't want to eat real food. And we'll go and catch the sunset in Fairhope. And it's, like, my favorite thing to do. Awesome. So, Kind Cafe, obviously, for their bagels is excellent. Been there. Yeah, Coffee Loft yeah, is the ba- lovely. Yeah, the bagels are great. Yes, yeah. But so. aren't you near... Presenka? Yes, and I'm there all the time. They know my name and the order. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, love this. All right, so the office is in Daphne. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, where's it located in Daphne? Um, Old Town Daphne, um, down Bell Rose. So do you know like where Mancy's is? Yeah. yeah like yeah. if you drive down Bell Rose, I'm the first cottage on the right. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Two doors down from Presenka, literally. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, that is right next door. It is yes. right That's next door. Awesome. Easy there walk. That's a good mm-hmm. area, though. I mean, there's a lot of mm-hmm. good businesses right there. Yes. I've heard a lot of good stuff about Kitchen Old Main. Have you okay. been? I've not been yet. It I is, heard it's amazing. I, well, I love that place. We were there, uh, uh, I guess it was Friday night. It was Friday night. And ran into Cindy, the photographer, yes. Blue Room photographer. Yes. Cindy's and uh, Cindy. saw her there at the bar. And we spoke with her. She She's wild. I love her to death. I, I just, since she's been on here, I've seen her all the time. She's everywhere. one of my oh, favorite I see her all over oh, the town. I mean, she's a, she amazing. is definitely involved in the chamber. Yeah, she sounded very adventurous when I listened to her interview. On y'all's podcast. She really is. Yeah. And like I said, when if if you see her somewhere and if she's watching this, she'll I promise you she'll come up and talk to you. Oh, yeah. You. Well, hey, Cindy. <laughs> All right. Now, you met Cindy several times at, at different functions for the chamber? Yes. Yes. I think that's how... Yes, that is how I met her. 
we got you down here. Married, single? Single. So outside of eating, what do you do for fun? What's... God, that that is like that question is like the bane of my existence. I'm such a not hobby person, uh-huh. um, uh, but I'm I, and that's something that I feel like I'm working on right now. But I've I've always loved music. I, I went to college on a music scholarship. Um, didn't really? major or minor Singing? in it. Oh no, um, I played the violin through college, and I haven't really picked it up since. Like since then, I was pretty burnt out by the time I finished. Yeah. Um, but I have an affinity for music. Um, I have an affinity for. Like for artists who who choose to write lyrically, I think that's why I appreciate Taylor Swift so much. But like you know, then you've got like Noah Khan. He's like he's up and coming, and it's kind of fun to discover artists like that. No, the funny that's funny that he actually that she just said that. My daughter literally yesterday told me about Noah Khan. Never heard of him in my life. He's cool. He's been on the scene for a long that's time. That's what I like heard. True grassroots success. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and I think yeah. he's like he's he was Grammy nominated. I'm pretty sure. So. I'm about to check him out now. I am seeing him in two days. Have you have you listened to? Him? No, I have not. Y'all should. I've got to check him out now. All right, I got somebody y'all need to listen to also. Jed Harrelson. Who? He's out of Nashville. All right. Just a uh, very good at what he does. Is he a picker and a grinner? Or is he more? It's more bluesy. Andy? Okay, bluesy. Mm, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Bluesy Nashville type stuff. Nice. I think he's originally from Texarkana, so which is amazing because <laughs> oh. nothing comes good out of Texarkana. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. gosh. Another edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are all hot takes. These are all hot takes. Oh, Let's keep yeah. them. Dude, it's Arkansas. Come on, man. It's South all, Arkansas. It's Arkansas. It's, I'll I'm, never be invited to do a show in Can- in Arkansas. Well, we're not going to be invited to in South bins. Arkansas because half my family's from there. Okay, well that makes sense, and they're not going to let me up back in that part of the state. That makes oh even more sense. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Yeah, music, and I like to read too. What novels do you lean towards? Like what style of of writing? Hmm. Now, do you like like true? You know, story stuff, or do you like crime stuff? Or? No, I'm like, no, the c- crime is not my thing. I'm like a baby, you know. Like, don't, <laughs> I don't, don't send me anything, you know. If there's gonna be human suffering involved, like I want there to be some sort of like philosophical like purpose, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> in the literature that I'm reading or the writing that I'm reading. Um, the book that I feel like has moved me the most is probably The Invisible Life of Addie Larue or Addison Larue. It's okay. a, I don't remember the proper title. Yeah, um, but it, it, it was very sort of mythical poetic. See, okay. I'm all, I'll, I'll, I'll ask Abigail. Yeah, <laughs> Sunday yeah see, night. I'm sure she's read it. Yeah. Well, like all right. Story. So, tell us about the office. What What are you doing that may be a little more unique? Sure. Than what some of the old folks do? Or oh my god. <laughs> well, like I don't, I don't even know where to dive into that. I guess I feel like I should start about maybe just kind of start with like the general like inception or like the why behind the office. Yeah. Um, so when in contract negotiation, even just speaking about its name, a request that Ken and Kimberly had was that I, was that I kept the name. So the name is a DBA. Um, and I, I love a sense of nostalgia, um, Mm -hmm. and a sense of of whimsy and and legacy. And so I was very happy to have the opportunity to keep the name and, and the original location as well. Sure. Um, I feel like that makes a pretty big, it makes it, it's made a difference at least in my career and and client base, um, for sure. To be able to keep the same name, number, location. I feel like that's kind of few and far between nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. So like that, I feel like that piece of it is, is important, you know, because every day I get to remember where the office has come from and the hopes of honoring where it is going. Okay. Um, So I like, I'm pretty excited just to kind of see where, you know, where time takes me. And I also, when I was looking at the inside of the building, like it's an, the, the office is like, it's an old home, I'm pretty sure. So it, it is kind of built like a cottage. Um, and so I really wanted to honor that as opposed to going against it aesthetically. So there are no clocks in the office. There are no doctor's uh, posters in the office until we had my open house, um, like my doctorate and like state diplomas and such, like weren't even visible to patients, you know, cause I just wanted it to feel like a home. And so, and it's themed to, to Disney. Um, so there's like the main treatment room that I'm in is, is the Cinderella room, at least in my head, um, you know, cause there's a Cinderella <laughs> quote, quote on the wall. Um, and there's like a little picture of a cottage, and then in the hallway, um, there's like a bookshelf and, and the books on the bookshelf are like, you know, they're mine, you know, they're personal and they're dog eared. And, you know, so w- when patients flip through them, if they choose to, you know, I, I don't generally speak into it, but they are looking at words or things that are important to me or that have inspired me. Okay. Um, now, is that the Beauty and the Beast hallway? Yeah, sure. Well, there is the, the, the main office. The main office is kind of themed to Beauty and the Beast. Um, so there's like a picture like um, with like a, a candle and like a book. And I've got like deer antlers in there and I do have a Disney quote you know from one of my favorite rides from disney world as well so the office is just 
the carousel of progress it's not a cool one <laughs> for it to be a favorite so like you so i mean it's one of the oldest rides in disney too uh but he, like it's an animatronic um based ride where you're going through like the the history of like uh, of, of time and, and progression really you're starting in like a different era um <laughs> right, where like so they're in the, the big circle and you've got the guy and he's talking about like different like oh, times cool. and, yeah but yeah there's a great big beautiful tomorrow like that's and where we're that back quote to comes, different comes eras from. see how yeah. she did that pull that right yeah. back down because taylor, taylor swift, swift is incredible on so many oh levels my God. See, no. No. see how she did it <laughs> that's the <laughs> swifty couch yeah the that is the swifty couch i totally Went over my head. Well, yeah. Uh, y'all look like tortured poets, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh, see that. That <laughs> they was, have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. Should we begin again? I'm the problem. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Jeremy. Uh, yeah, I heard I'm you. I'm the problem. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> At least you got go. one in. Yeah. <laughs> I know one Taylor Swift song. You I'm do. Just That's I good. just know one of her ex boyfriends. So it. we did a wedding Saturday night, and I played. And it was only a two hour and a half hour dance set, so we played seven Taylor Swift songs. So the new Morgan Wallen with Post Malone dropped. Yeah. yeah. So I played that. So I thought, you know, why not, why not go ahead and transition into Taylor Swift with Post Malone? And Post Malone. Yeah. Right? I like that song. Did they all scream it? Uh, two people knew it, which shocked me, quite frankly. Okay. I even I know that one. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, that's actually, I that actually like that song. That was weird, but, you okay. know, I, I, don't I got out of it pretty quick because they didn't know well, it. So I don't actually have a problem with Taylor Swift. I just wouldn't pay that amount of money to go see her. Like, I think she's an amazing, like, songwriter. And she kind of got screwed on her first contract. No. That was, so under the original, I know way too much about this woman. <laughs> right. right. Go ahead. Under go ahead the original label under which, like, I don't I don't remember if it was 11. I, that feels a little high, but she, she also writes a lot at this yeah. point. But, um. I, from what she has released, her PR has released, is they, under the old label, they're like, you know, we will give you either opportunity and or rights to buy them back for every new album that you make under this label. Exactly. And she that's said, what I'm forget about. that, that's a terrible business deal. Okay. And I'm Taylor Swift, I, I will re-record my original work, which is, I mean, that's a pretty risky move, I've probably from a label company or a record company standpoint, because yeah. like, it's not new music. Right. And all of Swifty said, go for it, girl. We'll hey, and then she did actually <laughs> add some extra stuff to her from old music, vault, which was actually yeah. really, that's a bold move as well. Yeah. So that's she knows awesome. her audience, her ability to capitalize on. Like, and she's so smart with the, yes. the, the Easter eggs that are in there and the, the, the stuff that she wrote in there many, many years mm -hmm. prior. And then it comes to fruition seven years down the road or eight years down. I mean, it was just, a, it, she's, she is a freaking genius. I don't care what anybody says. It's sort of like Eminem. I think he's a genius. Oh, Eminem definitely is a genius. You know, it just, it just I don't blows my mind. Like any of his I wish I had that kind of talent. Time, I don't. I, Oh, yeah, right? If I oh, just dude, I can't carry a note in a bucket. <laughs> Anybody well, I mean, can just, sing. Just to write. Just, just to write. <laughs> no. So, yeah, so here, I did a, uh, thir I, I'm a DJ as my side hustle. How fun. And uh, I did a 13-year-old birthday party, a girl 13-year-old birthday party. And uh, it was a Taylor Swift party. So we had, uh, and I was directed by the birthday girl if I did not, they would know if it was not Taylor's version. That's oh a my god! <laughs> That's pressure right there. That's right. So whatever the old songs were, you make I a, had to get it off of what, a Taylor thirteen? Wow. How old was it? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, you make a thirteen-year-old girl mad. <laughs> oh, I'm done. No, they're brutal, dude. Man, They'll they hurt you in the worst way possible. Oh, no. <laughs> and, 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 that sounded and so feelings. personal. I'm oh, telling no. you. Yeah, no. So, Abby. Dr. Abby. Abby. Dr. Can, Parrish. I'm, so, when I introduce myself to patients, I introduce myself as Dr. Abby Parrish, and then the cards fall where they Okay. Yeah. All Very right. comfortable with it. You have all the ingredients to address me. There you I go. I love it. So, you're taking new patients. Yes. All right. Um, tell us what type of patients you like to work with. Yeah. I So I really enjoy working with moms a lot. Okay. So moms, teachers. Uh, I also have, like, when moms bring in dad, dad often, for whatever reason, tends to be an engineer, an architect, a banker. So, like, young professionals um, with children who typically are the, between the ages of, of 13 and 18, so high schoolers, okay. is typically who I'm seeing in the office. And I like I love it. I, and I feel like as I've learned more about what my what my patients are looking for, you know, where like what they're trying to avoid and or what where they're moving towards. Like I, I think my office experience becomes more and more curated, and it becomes more and more niche down. So again, like 
I don't carry clocks in the office because like moms carry clocks all the time. You know, they're constantly keeping up with scheduling and routine. And I just want to take that all away. You know, you can show up on time, you will be seen on time, and then you will leave on time as well. So like they don't have to worry about it. We advance schedule with them. Like it's great. Nice. I love it. How do how do we get in touch with you? Yeah. So the easiest way to get in touch with the office is through our office line. Um, and it is 251-621-2224. And the office line is designed to feel like a like a text like a two-way text situation so for fastest response you don't you don't you, you are always welcome to call and leave a message um if we're not able to pick up the phone immediately but for fastest response you can just text the office now there's one thing that she didn't mention that she does do is acupuncture yes yes i do acupuncture oh, nice. as well. mm-hmm. so let's get like into that. that a little bit yeah yeah, yeah and, and i do want to ask about sure. cracking the neck okay what does i mean because i've been i love going to chiropractors mm-hmm. um why do you crack the neck? What's the, of course I've been to a couple and they didn't do it. Interesting. So what's the, what's the magic behind Did it? you have a, like, did you have a chief complaint in your neck? That, that could, it could be as simple as that. Like you didn't list it. And so I'm, didn't. I've been, I've done stupid stuff my whole life. Okay. Like play <laughs> high school football. Sure. So everything hurts. Okay. I mean, that's usually, when I walk in, it's usually I'm limping because of three knee surgeries oh, wow. or, Okay, let her ask. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, and answer the question. (laughs) Sorry. Oh, just by way of like why? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I mean, just. I mean, it's it. I mean, you have seven cervical. Right, right. Vertebra, and they all they all have they all need motion, you know. And for the patients that I work with, work with anyways, like you know, if they're working desk jobs and or they're in young family stage, I mean, you're in certain planes of motion all day long, and so the the goal oftentimes is to counter it, you know, for sense of. For a sense of a kind of even wear and tear in your joints, just kind of like your teeth, you know, you want them to age symmetrically if possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're also typically a symptom relief associated with that too. So my patients come in with headaches, or they come in with posture fatigues, or they're you know they'll come in saying like they feel like their head's really heavy at the end of the day and they don't know why. And so we work to we work to provide a sense of alignment and and movement compensation. We do our best to uproot that. Now I do have a question about the mm-hmm. the equipment that y'all use. Mm-hmm. Now the chiropractor that I go see, um, he doesn't like pop me and twist me like a glow stick. Uh, he has a like a gun, okay, that he uses and like he clicks it down every vertebrae on your back, and then it, the computer tells him how to adjust it. Oh, and, interesting! And All it right. like kind of hammers it back and forth. Now, what kind of equipment do you use, like? Uh, uh, it's your office. Yeah. So I'm a, a manual j- adjuster predominantly, meaning like I adjust by hand. I do okay. use a drop table, especially in, in like your lumbo, thoracic, sacroiliac region. So like from like your, your middle back, from your lower middle back down, that tends to be done with drop work. Um, just because I found that that's most efficient for me as a practitioner who's very like, I, you know, I just am like espresso. I'm tiny, but concentrated, you know, but I, I yeah. have to watch that sense of, um, like technique and, and sustainability for me too. Um, so I use drop tables um, a fair bit. I will use like an activator, which is different than what it sounds like you have experienced, but it is similar in that it makes kind of that clicking noise. Yeah. And I'll, yeah, yeah. you know, I'll work when I'm working with like, with jaws or shoulders, ribs, you know, I'll use that. Cause it's, it's, those are such small joint spaces and I want that sense of pressure to be standardized. So it's more okay. precise when you use an instrument in yeah, that yeah. area. Um, and then as far as like cervical adjusting, I typically a manual as well, unless there are conditions that rule out, um, either by safety and, or like, there's just not enough for me anyways, enough research. Most insurances will pay for your yes. services. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like chiropractic services. Yes. <clears throat> Acupuncture isn't typically covered by insurance. Right, right. Um, and I'm in network with blue cross blue shield and, and Medicare and that's it. Okay. So. Now, if patients are in, if they're in network, say with like United Healthcare, Cigna, Aetna, I mean, I'm happy to um, send them what's called a super bill. Mm-hmm. And then they can then apply that for potential reimbursement and or, you know, d- deductible application, you know, whatever their contract, whatever their contract states. So okay. Tell us about the acupuncture, though. I yeah. love acupuncture. Acupuncture is yeah. so fun. I've, I've never had my it dad. Done. Okay. My dad was an acupuncturist. He, oh, really? He, he went back to, he was a pharmacist and then he went back to school and got his doctorate in nutrition. And, uh, he's a he was a firm believer in acupuncture and reflexology. Oh, that's so cool! Really, that's super cool. Yeah, so I, I, I love to hear what y'all are doing there for the acupuncture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that work? Like, I mean, I mean, I know it's 
been around for thousands of mm-hmm. years, but mm-hmm. yeah, tell us a little bit about it, please. Yeah. So uh, as far as like where I think I focus and do my best work, um, is when I'm working with like headache management, fatigue, uh, stress management, and that I didn't really mean to be known for this. Um, but I also now manage, uh, uh fertility cases or help co-manage fertility cases okay. in conjunction oh, with wow. their medical teams. Right, right. So typically like a patient will come in and they'll be like my, my OB recommended, using acupuncture to help with, you know, fertility management or pregnancy management. And then, you know, they tell their friends and then their friends come in. It's very yeah. interesting. And yeah. it works. It's oh, great I, stuff. I'm a works. believer in it. Like I said, they, they found a, um, like a well-preserved mummy of a man that had died in the mountains or something from thousands and thousands of years ago. And he literally had the acupuncture tattoos Oh, like on, the meridians? Oh, yeah, interesting. On his body. Okay. Hey, I'm That's cool fun. with it. I, I love mean, it. I'm biased, you know, but I love look, it. Look, <laughs> it's better than most of the drugs on the market right now mm. for everything. So. Man. Now, are you a movie person? I, I also am not. I so I've not. So I grew up with TV. We watch TV. I have all the apps on my phone. Yeah. I have not owned an, a TV in my adult life. Yeah. Just, I didn't. I didn't get a TV until I got married. Okay. I yeah. didn't have one. I don't have anything against it. There's no like deep like I just it, no. I just don't have one. Like, well, like, to I was be a total dude. Too much, I had a pool like... table in the living room, and that was the entertainment. Yeah, I mean we, you know, in my prenuptial agreement with my current wife, uh, we <laughs> you don't have a prenup. Yeah, what? you don't. Everybody should get a prenup. I tell you what, if Absolutely. she thinks she can get anything out of this turnip, <laughs> the blood out of this turnip. Or whatever that stupid saying is. I'm now you're on. You, I don't have it. Y'all are on seconds, right? No. I'm on second. He's you're on, on second. first. You're on I'm on first. first. Who's on first? on first? I don't know. I'm on first. Third base. Prenups were. Are they still a thing? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, That's yes. even more important. You oh, think I'm yeah. going to put my office up? Like no. They're, no. no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Look at her. Yeah. Yeah. She's oh, like no. I'm already no. telling you. Every it's man watching this, watch out. You're signing a prenup with her. And I hate people say, oh, well, you're pre- you're preparing to, for divorce one day. No. The law's no. already settled what's going to happen if you yeah. divorce. So you might as well. And yeah, you should be hashing sure. that out anyways. That's, that's my opinion. That's exactly right. And that's, that's one of the things that after my first marriage was such a fiasco. Uh, my second marriage, we sat down and did the marriage manifesto, which, inco- which covered all kinds of stuff. And. Uh, I would suggest anybody, if you want to, you can email me through this channel right here, and I'll send it to you for free, <laughs> nothing, because I'm, you know, I'm telling you. If I'm a woman save in the state of Alabama, I'm not signing a prenup. Oh, no, my attorney loves me. Oh, I'm sure you're, yeah. <laughs> no, there's no way I would. But I'm talking about Yeah, yours is going to be different because it's, <sighs> you're the business owner. Oh, yes. Yes, and that I office is my that. baby. Okay, Absolutely. I can see that. Yeah. All right, so, look, we... <laughs> We're going to wrap it up. Oh, here, I, yeah. no, I'm having a great time. Like, well, this here, awesome. here's, the, here's the fun question. Sure. So, given the magic wand. All right, all right, hang on one second ahead, before we ahead, do that. All right. Ask your also If there's any, anything that we missed that we think we, that you need to explain to us about back in motion. Oh, sure. Um, hmm. I'll just think about that. So, the tenets of the office, they're not published anywhere. But when I'm thinking about making changes or sustaining habits, you know, because the office is so new. So, you know, everything to me, nothing is like so ingrained that it can't be changed. You right, know, and I'm right. very willing to stress test systems, you know, bring in other people, ask for outside opinions. Um, if, if, the move does, you know, if when making a change, if it doesn't move the needle towards kindness, community and connect kindness, community and connection, it's immediately vetoed. Um, so those are like the three things that kind of, I feel like I want the office to be known for, or those are the things that kind of, I think keep me grounded on the, on the good days and the bad as well as just the everyday, you know? Um, and then as far as uh, like employees, so I hired Haley recently and she's incredible. I'm sure y'all have met her yep, in the Haley, chamber. Yeah. I adore her. Um, so if you, if you guys, if you guys are at the chamber event and you, you know, you see Haley, please come and say hi to her. She's wonderful. And that's another thing. You are a chamber member. Mm-hmm. Yes. Big supporter yes. of it. Active Very in it. Yes. 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 Yeah. I the Eastern it. Shore Chamber is awesome here. Yes, it is. Huge fan. Now the magic wand question. There we go. You got a magic wand in your hand. Okay. You can wave it and change anything about living down here. What is it? Oh, man. The humidity here (laughs) is so bad. Uh, It is. So bad by like what, September? Uh, Like you're just swimming in it. Well, last week was 
a little brutal. Uh, I mean, we got a relief, mm-hmm. but June to me is the worst month because yeah. it hits ninety percent and it doesn't drop until September. Sure, sure. And yeah. it's that's true. Twenty four so, hours a day, seven yes. days a week. Yes. So I would I would change humidity, and then if we could have the sunsets that we often get in like mid to late fall in the summers when you have hours of daylight. Literal mm. paradise. Well, if they'll for stop me. changing the time. Yes, that also is kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, like I, I hate that. Yeah, and I'll chase the sun. I love the sunsets here. Yes, like, uh, we'd like to thank uh, Abby for coming in today. Absolutely, great thank interview. You for coming in. Uh, go see her at Back in Motion in Daphne, uh, around the corner from the Mancies. Maybe you know, go and yeah. have a shot and go see her, or go see her and then go have a shot. Well, I don't know. I think what you first do is you go by Press and Co. and yes. say, "Hey, listen, I want Abby's favorite and." Haley's favorite drink. Go there ahead and go. purchase those Aww. to take them down to the office. I think that's what Thanks. you do. Yes, that's so up. kind. Because <laughs> they know what go. you want, right? <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm going there tomorrow for two meetings back to back. There you so. go. And just a heads up to everyone at home. Uh, we are going to be having a new location of filming from time to time. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, so we are going to be over there, uh, huh? I don't know. We're about to see. So uh, we That'd have nice. some interest. That'd be nice. Um, a little shout out to Billy. And we'll have more details later. But. Okay. Uh, thank you again for coming on. Yeah, thanks Great for having us. Thank yeah. you for coming on. Thanks for uh, all your time. And this is a Coastal Compass, allegedly a podcast. Bye. See you guys.